I'm Sarah Ramsaran, and you're watching UTTV News. Today on this lovely spring afternoon, we're broadcasting from just outside Sid Smith. We at UTTV News want to get physically closer to students, and what better way to do that than to be right outside student classrooms. And now for this week's news. Are you, like most U of T students, a commuter student? Or are you a res student like me? Our commuter correspondent, Michelle, will bring us more on the difficult life of commuter students. Since approximately 80% of students here at U of T are commuters, we decided to go to the streets and see how commuting affects their university experience. Every day, thousands of students board the TTC. For some, it takes five minutes, but for others, three hours. So we asked, how does this commute affect them? We're here with... Riga Shakya. Uh, Jennifer. Elaine. Lakshay. Cheyenne. How long is your commute normally? About 20 minutes. An hour and a half. An hour yeah. and 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes live. 15 minutes? Yeah. Uh, me too. So, how do you find your commute? Um, it's okay, but in the winter, um, it's really cold because I, I bike. Just they go bus, yeah. you know, you can always sleep on that bus. Yeah. Many commuters have too far to go home and back during their breaks. So where do they go? And what do they do? We're here with... Uh, Janiel, John Batista. Angelo. Aaron. How do you feel about long breaks? I don't really like them too much. Um, it's pretty difficult. It does take time out of everything else. Do you have any suggestions for fellow commuters? Should go to Tim Hortons <laughs> for roll up the rim to win. The library is usually a good place. Events are always happening at U of T, but how involved are commuters? We're here with Megan Machado, oh, Kara, and Abby. How many school events have you gone to in this past year? Um, like a couple. Under five, more than two. <laughs> That's probably about the same. Is there anything you'd like to say to commuters about joining clubs or? Um, I think that you just gotta, when you come to school, you just gotta make the most of it. I think as a commuter you want to get more involved. And that concludes our first segment on commuter life. I'm Michelle Doyle, wishing you all a safe commute. Thanks Michelle. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to a different college? Our resident correspondent, Christina, discovers what it's like to be a Vic student. Today we're with Victoria Student Council President Akash Goal, and we're going to ask him some questions. What does Victoria College offer that other colleges don't? We have 70% females and 3% males. <laughs> what are your top three favorite Vic moments? Top three? Yeah. First one has to be cheering in the subways of orientation week for Haiba, which is like our annual yeah. uh, like dinner and dance. And this year was a Bollywood theme. We have this thing called a lawn party every year, on like right before exams start in April. Okay. Yeah. And so we have like bouncy castles and we have cotton candy and we have popcorn and everything in the, in the quad. And three words describe the people at Victoria College. Caring, involved, progressive. What is your favorite nap location on campus? <laughs> uh, some of the couches in Old Vic Old are Vic. very, very okay. comfortable. And then, what's your favorite Vic cheer? Can you do one? Uh, can I do one? Yeah. It was kind of neat going with uh, with maybe 300 or 400 frosh uh -huh. in the subways, all going, send your kids to Vic. Send <laughs> oh, your kids to Vic. Really good. Send really your good. kids to Vic. Okay, thank you. No, no problem. Thanks, Christina, for that interesting discovery. You know, every time I walk through Vic, there's this old guy with puppies in his stroller, and he stops to take pictures of them. But never mind. Speaking of discovery, did you know that the shuttle Discovery just completed its final mission last month. Our space explorer, Tom, has more. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A shuttle launch, the roaring power of rocket engines and the glory of space exploration. Soon to be a thing of the past, NASA's 30-year shuttle program is drawing to a close. This means that next year, America will not have the ability to launch human beings into space. Is space exploration a financially responsible investment? Or should we be asking the question at the core of the great space debate? What business do we have up there anyway? NASA's shutting down its shuttle program. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I think there's good and bad. I mean, like, money can go somewhere else, right? You have to ask yourself, like, one big question, and that's, like, the Earth isn't going to be around forever, are we? Man belongs in space, and we should spend a bit of money on the subject. I'm assuming that NASA is full of well-intentioned individuals, and so hopefully in the long term, um, 
uh, it means you know better results. Before we get carried away lamenting or rejoicing at the end of the shuttle program, we should remember that NASA shuttles aren't the only spacecraft in the world. Regardless of the conclusion of the shuttle program, and regardless of some opinions, human beings will still get to space. What will we find out there? Well, that's the point of going. Thanks, Tom. By nature of being a U of T student, do you often miss out on pop culture references? Tanya, our Word of the Week correspondent, bring you, brings you more. Hello, interwebs. I'm Tanya Hoshi, anchor for Word of the Week. Now, if you've been keeping up with the latest YouTube and Twitter trends, you might have come across the name Rebecca Black this past week. Rebecca is a 13-year-old aspiring singer whose music video lately became very famous on the internet. The video has become so popular this week that Rebecca has remained a Twitter trending topic for the whole entire week. But although she has gained a lot of fame, it isn't for the right reasons. As a matter of fact, majority of the viewers claim her video to be the worst music video of all time. Harsh. So what is this video I speak of? Well, it's actually the word of the week. Friday. Or should I say fried eggs? Hmm. Now according to Rebecca Black, we're gonna get down on Friday, party and have some fun, 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 fun. You know what it is. Now, Friday, as you may or may not know, actually happens to be one of the seven days of the week. But if you're unsure when it actually happens during the week, well, no worries. Rebecca Black will explain it in the clearest way. You see, yesterday it was Thursday, and today it is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday, and Sunday comes afterwards. Did you know that Kate Middleton and Prince Something are getting married at the end of the month? I am so throwing a royal wedding party. Irini, our royal wedding correspondent, has more. Spring is in the air, which means a couple of things for us U of T students. The snow started to melt, making the walk through Queen's Park a naval mission, and we've already started to move into the library to prepare for exams. But for normal people, spring means pretty flowers and wedding season, and there's one wedding this season that can't seem to stay out of anyone's mind. On April 29th, Prince William will marry 29-year-old Kate Middleton. But do you have two students care? So do you guys know anything about the royal wedding? No, I have no idea. <laughs> just what you just said. <laughs> no, but if I see it on like E! or like um, Entertainment Canada, then I watch it sometimes. So why do you think that all the media outlets are so obsessed with the royal wedding and we aren't? Well, I don't know. I guess they need something to focus their attention on, and they are royalty, so that puts them in a status higher than just celebrities. Um, what do you think about the whole controversy over Kate's dress? Nobody really knows who the designer is going to be. Why is it so important that she keeps it a secret? You know what? I actually don't know anything about her dress. Fashion is a big part of our society, especially like in America and Europe. And so come the final weeks before the royal wedding. The world will tune in to watch these regal lovebirds tie the knot in front of England's finest. Thanks, UFT. The following is footage from two recent club events. Well, I'm part of the exec, and uh, we are, you know, in charge of putting all this together. I'm also part of the planning committee, so we basically set everything up. Uh, we have about we have more than eight designers, I believe. Yeah. Um, some of them are representing West Africa, East Africa, and some are just contemporary African. Um, this is the eighth year of the Afrobeat. We have a couple of we have a couple of artists. We have some spoken word. We also have some drummers. We have a couple of people that are dancing. We have a, our own like um, East African team performing. So it's gonna be really cool. Uh, Chinese design. How long have you guys been in existence? About seven years. Oh, wow. Very good. Uh, this is your first time part of this show? Um, no, but it's my first time actually uh, attending. I've had my stuff in the show, but I haven't been in the country while it was happening. So I'm really happy to actually see how it happens, and it's it's a great atmosphere. Amazing. I actually went to school here about six years ago. Um, actually, my background is uh, Nigerian. Well, so far, like I said, it's been fantastic. They sold out, so I'm very happy to see that that happened. And uh, the designers have been amazing. The food is great. I'm not gonna get to taste it, but it looks really good. Um, and everyone is looking beautiful. 
Actually, I'm having my launch for my summer collection in uh, three weeks, April 17th. Okay. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get you to come out there. And can we reach you on the website? Yes, www.chinedesign.com. And also you can uh, check us out on Facebook. Uh, Dorothy Adakora Jen. Yes, we do designs. It's called Mina Danielle Designs. You can check us out at www.minadanielle.com. So this is our first time being invited to Afrobeat. Really? Really good. So what part of Africa are you from? From Ghana. Ever since I was growing up, I've been sewing my own clothes for confirmations, communions. Uh, so as I got older, about three years ago, I decided that I'm going to take the next level. Yeah. Um, I believe we're going to do a show in June. Yeah. Uh, still working out the details and as well as another one in September. And we will be organizing our own Mina Danielle fashion show for 2012. So look out for that as well too. their families, their friends, all here. And it's absolutely a wonderful competition. Uh, and all the money, again, goes to South Asian Lines, which is a wonderful organization for students, by students. It's absolutely wonderful. And it's terrific that Rogers is the presenting sponsor, Rogers South Asian Alliance Culture Show. I'm at Western, the winning school. Good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Tell me if I win. <laughs> We have 26 dancers, 30 all together, stage hands. Yeah, we're gonna run shit. Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. we are. Okay. Okay. This year, this year. It's our year. It's our year. Representing UTM. Yeah. We in the house. Yeah. We ain't take it. Be ready. Because we're gonna show and sit down on stage. Good, good, good. We won last year, we're coming here to defend our Chipotle crown. Good, good. Defending ourselves. Good. I'm at the University of Ottawa. What did you guys do last year? Oh, we came, oh, I think, oh, fifth. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> University of Ottawa, we come in! We are part of SAA from UTSG, University of Toronto, St. George campus. Last year, we placed fairly well individually in our dances. We didn't place overall. We're hoping for better luck this year. Okay, if you watch, if you listen, like, come on. SAA, UTSG, join us. We have free food at our events. We have dance performances, we have music and club events, $5 club events for members. Come on, can't do better than that. We're watching UTSG SAA, Well, that's it for this week's News U of T. See you next week and tell your friends.